Good morning guys, how's it going? Thank you for tuning in to another video. My name is Rush and I'm back again. Today we're finally going to the muffler shop to get the Corsa exhaust all fixed up. As you can see here, sounds great. Doesn't look too good because it's having fitment issues. So he's about to throw it up on the lift here and see what we can do about it. Hey buddy, how's it going? Looks like a shop dog. It looks good. And here is the issue we're having. It's just uneven on either side. So try to adjust it and see what we can do here. It's a cute shop dog. I guess she likes some Mustang. Good girl. Yep, it's one of those days, I feel you on that. It's a gloomy day here in Orange County. Not too much going on, so. And it's raining a little bit, so I figured it'd be a good time to come out and, and take care of this, since I really don't want to be out on the roads when it's all slippery and stuff like that. So, let's see what we can do. Alright guys, here's our issue. So the hangers are fixed in place with these um, you know, bolts and everything, so we can't really move the exhaust over the side. Now, they're telling me that if we do end up modifying it, which would it mean that we have to cut this right here and re-weld it, that Corsa is not going to go ahead and warranty the, the exhaust because it's modified. And the reason I want to modify it is because, as you guys can see, the fitment's not very good. And I'm scared that it's going to go ahead and melt this plastic piece right here messing it up so we're kind of in a sticky situation here go and modify it and then risk losing the warranty on the exhaust if anything wants to go bad um, or do I find another thing to modify and modify the car the bracket that it sits on so I'm trying to figure that out at the moment so we're making a little bit of progress guys it's looking better so we're clearing the balance now pretty much have to create a mount because this exhaust is just hanging way too low and it's not clearing the rear balance like it should. This side's good you think right? Isn't that how much adjustment things we've done there? Yeah I'm also worried about if I start messing with that side. It's just gonna walk. <laughs> okay. Yeah let's just keep it that way. I mean, yeah if you're happy with better guys alrighty boys if you need any exhaust work done I think I found the new shop for it check these guys out they actually do really good work clean work as you can see is even Clean up the tips, so that's that's pretty awesome. So hopefully we won't have any more issues with this Corsa system rubbing on anything, and I can just enjoy it for now until I get pulled over. But until then, should be good. So all done, guys. Doesn't look much better, so let's go ahead and I'm start it up here. 
Much better. I oh, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah, you're pretty welcome. Sick. Yeah. Pretty quick, too. Uh, do you want to do cash or card? All right. Cool. All good. Yes, All sir. Right. Well, thank you, man. You're appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. All right. All right. Take care. All right, you guys. So, no more wanky looking exhaust. We should be all good. Shout out to uh, Brandon over here because he did the work. Um, knocked it out pretty good. Now, there's not really too, too much adjustment we can do with it just because I don't want to lose the warranty on the exhaust system. But I think this looks much better than what it was before. Uh, definitely no issues with it rubbing on anything now. Um, that was kind of the fear before. So, very, very good. So, here we go. Before I head home and wrap up this video, I wanted to go ahead and address something real quick. So I posted on Instagram, I made a post, and I'll show you the post, I'll throw it up on the screen. Um, I pretty much just tagged Corsa and asked them why the fitment wasn't all that great on this exhaust system. Um, being that it's not a cheap exhaust system by any means, you know, you are paying a premium uh, to get the Corsa Extremes or any Corsa product really. And um, you know, the fitment should be better. So. Once I posted that post on my story and I tagged Corsa, a bunch of people messaged me. About like four to five people messaged me with the same issues. Even the guy at the exhaust shop told me that these systems always end up having, you know, fitment issues where people have, come in, have to come in to try to get them adjusted and fixed up. So my gripe with that is, if you try to go and get it fixed, you can't really touch the exhaust. You can't weld to it or anything without risking losing your warranty on the exhaust if anything was to happen to it. So that's the crappy part of the equation there. So if you weld it and make it look good, you potentially lose your warranty. And if you don't weld it, you end up with an exhaust that doesn't look too good and could cause some damage to the rear end of the car if it gets too hot or whatever. So it's kind of a sticky situation to be in, not all that fun. And uh, you know, I just wish that course would address it. You know, there's a couple of solutions that I can think of. One is making the brackets adjustable. Um, the mounting brackets or the arms that are connected to the mufflers. Just being able to adjust those should be able to give you the room that you need to fix them and put them in the right position. Or, you know, replacing the hangers. And that's what we did today. We put a different style of hanger in there to go ahead and lift the exhaust up a little bit. And I'll tell you what, it's not perfect, but we really couldn't mess with it too much. Because, like I said, I didn't want to weld anything to the mufflers, but definitely better than what it was when we first started. But it's not 100% exactly where I want it to be. Ideally, I would like to shift this up a little more and have it kind of move out to the side. And that's where it would be like perfect, perfect. But I'm going to rock it like this, see how it is. And then maybe we'll get it adjusted later on down the line. Um, you know, once I don't care about the warranty on the exhaust system, but yeah, I just wanted to address that. Hopefully, of course, this sees this video and they take care of their customers. Um, it's a great sounding exhaust, it's very, um, you know, well made, but there's that little area of concern there with it not fitting properly and needing additional work. Um, maybe like some type of movable bracket would be perfect to help center those tips exactly where they need to be. So that is it for today's video. I don't mean to sound like a Debbie Downer or a negative person, but I didn't want to address that, you know, because I know other people are having the same issue too, so it's not just me. But yeah, so that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. If you're having issues, let me know what they are down in the comments below. My name is Rush, there's my GT, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.